Thank you for joining us today at Homestead for Life. My name is Laura and today we are going to plant our tomato seedlings. You may have joined us for our starting tomatoes from seeds video. So now we're going to take those seedlings and get them in the ground. There's a couple things we need to do first. We need to prepare our spot, right? So we've done a quick weeding today and then about a month ago we weeded it out pretty heavily um, to get all that stuff out. We covered it not very well um, but we covered it up so that no new weeds would show up uh, armadillos and whatnot tore up a lot of that covering but that's okay it still made it much easier today to finish weeding that out and now we're gonna amend the soil we're gonna build our tomato frames and then we're gonna plant our tomato seedlings with the line up to the frame so that we can we can tie them up as they go rather than using tomato cages so how do we amend our soil? We are going to do it in two different ways today. We are going to add coffee grounds to increase the acidity just a little bit. And then we are also going to add um, our eggshells. So stay tuned with our channel. We've got another video coming on how to process those eggshells. Of course, we have chickens here on the homestead. So eggshells are a very readily available resource for us. And eggshells do a lot of things for your tomato plants. Okay. They add calcium to the plants, to the soil, so that you have less blossom and rot on your tomatoes. You're going to have more healthy tomatoes uh, by amending your soil and adding that as a fertilizer. So that's what we're going to do today. Ready to get started? So our coffee grounds came from Starbucks. Starbucks does this amazing thing where as they empty their bags of coffee beans, they refill them with the used coffee grounds. And then they put a little label on them it says garden ground or grounds for your garden and they leave them out in the store for you to take for free which is amazing so there's a Starbucks near my work so periodically I pop in see if there's a bag and here we go so this bag has been sitting on my porch for a couple weeks so it's a little moldy but that's okay it's still gonna do its job So we're going to spread it out and then we are going to rake it in, break up these chunks. Of course they don't get dried out very well before they get bagged. Well that's a lot of good stuff for free. Thank you Starbucks. Okay, so we've got our coffee kind of lightly raked in here. Now we're gonna rake in some of our eggshells. I'm also gonna put a little bit of the eggshells at the bottom of each plant that I put in so that it will have plenty of calcium. Our supplies here are temporary fence stakes, 90 degree PVC elbows, one and a quarter inch PVC pipes. These are 10 foot long. And we are going to space our tomato plants two feet apart on the, the uh, stake lines here. And then the rows are three feet apart. We are ready to get our tomato seedlings in the ground. So I've dug our hole. It's just a little bit deeper than the cup that we planted these in. It comes up to about the bottom leaves. If you were with us for our previous planting tomatoes from seeds video, you know that when we started these cups, they were about two inches deep. And every time that we had some more space below those bottom leaves, we added more dirt because tomatoes will grow more roots from the stems if they sense dirt there. So we've built that root stock on these tomato plants quite a bit over the last whew, three and a half months. We planted these at the beginning of the year. So they are more than ready to get into the ground today. So what we're gonna do with our twine is we are going to lay the bottom loop. So I've measured it comes up much higher than this pole so I can wrap it around, loop it in the bottom here of our hole, throw a little bit of dirt on top of it, 
stab it down a little bit. And then I'm going to take some of these fresh, fresh eggshells and I'm going to spread those in there. And then we will take our tomato plant. bury it up to those bottom leaves. All right. So this is actually a couple tomato plants. I could have separated them, um, but I have not had terrible success with that. But I have had multiple grow in a pot together and be fine. So, and because we're going to be training these up, we should be perfectly fine with a couple extra. So what I did there is I kind of wound the rope around the stems here to guide them up. Okay, so we've got it run up. I don't want to make it super tight because I don't want to pull the plant back out of the ground. But we're just going to knot these up here. And that's it. As our tomato grows further up, we are just going to grab, probably won't use the same twine. I've got that green uh, nursery tape. We'll just tie it up to the line as we go. So as it grows, we'll be adding supports. We'll be adding loops onto the twine so it can keep growing up and up and up. And in a few months, we should have a whole forest of tomatoes back here. Thank you for taking the time today to watch us here on Homestead for Life. We appreciate it. And please like and subscribe to our channel. And please post in the comments any other videos you'd like to see. We'd be happy to add those onto the calendar.